Allow me to share a piece of poetry with you that has meant so much to so many millions. It's called The Prayer for Protection by James Dillett Freeman. The light of God surrounds us. The love of God enfolds us. The power of God protects us. And the presence of God watches over us. Wherever we are, God is, and all is well. Amen. Let me read that last line. Wherever we are, God is, and all is well. Recently, a great American has passed away, Neil Armstrong. He served as U.S. Navy aviator in Korea. He was a test pilot before he joined NASA as an astronaut and then as commander of Apollo 11, July 20th, 1969. He took that famous one small step that placed him forever in the history books. He was the first human to set foot on the moon. When questioned about his space flights, Neil Armstrong replied, We planned for every negative contingency, but we expected success. Well, today I'm talking about success expectation. And you have to realize that they didn't just rely on themselves. Edwin Aldrin was on board too, and he also walked on the moon with Neil Armstrong. Aldrin's mother gave him a piece of poetry by my friend James Dillett Freeman. James Dillett Freeman didn't know about it till it was read on CBS News. I can imagine. I didn't know him back then. He probably came out of his skin when he heard it on national television, realizing that was his piece of poetry. Well, it is said that they both prayed this prayer as they were landing the lunar module and what fortification it gave them. My friend Holtz said, you either live up or down to your expectations. I ask you to live up to high expectations. As Neil Armstrong said, we plan for every negative contingency, but, but, we expected success. If you would like to launch your life to a new height, take a hint from the first man that walked on the moon. Plan for the worst, but don't expect the worst ever. When it comes to your expectations, pray, have faith, and set your sights on success. And then, like Neil Armstrong, you can confidently shoot for the moon in your own life. An attitude of faith, an attitude of optimism, is a giant step forward when you trust God and work for success. And God will bless your efforts. Now, my friend James Dillett Freeman, well, he wasn't done yet. Colonel James Irwin of Apollo 15 took poetry of his to the moon and left it on the moon in microfilm. And here it is, and I close with this today. Do you need me? I am there. You can't see me, and yet I am the light you see by. You can't hear me, yet I speak through your voice. You can't feel me, Yet I am the power at work in your hands. I am at work, though you do not understand my ways. I am at work through you, though you don't recognize my works. I am not strange visions. I am not mysteries. Only in absolute stillness beyond self can you know me as I am. And then... But as a feeling and a faith, yet I am there, yet I am there, yet I will answer. When you need me, I am there. Even if you deny me, I am there. Even when you feel most alone, I am there. 
Even in your fears, I am there. Even in your pain, I am there. I am there when you pray and when you do not pray. Through your faith, I am there. Though your faith in me is unsure, my faith in you never wavers. Because I know you, because I love you, beloved, I am there. My friend, I wish to send you both pieces of poetry in a frameable piece. I can even send it to you in a download if you would like. Make any donation to Positive Christianity and request poetry, and it will be sent to you within a week. God bless you, and I wish you the very best today, and I expect success for you.